We are in St. George, Utah today, and we are going to go to lovely Desert Gardens. Uh, they have some amazing landscape there, and also, uh, of course, cactus, uh, desert flowers. Just an amazing, amazing uh, place to see. Uh, come along with us, shall you? Just a great example of the views as you're driving down the road here in St. George. there is Dixie Rock. Uh, today it doesn't look like there's many people on but usually it's just covered uh, with people. A lot of people, tourists in the area and a lot of locals visit the rock daily. St. George averages 300 sun-filled days and only 8 inches of rain per year. Talk about a great desert climate. Yeah. Desert Gardens has some amazing landscape, and not only that, but it has some great gazebos where you can just sit in the shade and relax by the water and enjoy the landscape and the view. The nice little walking paths with rocks going through the creek are an amazing, an amazing addition to the park.
all of the uh, plants and trees and so forth, the cactuses, all have a uh, description and then a QR code. So you can actually scan that, of course, and, and look that up and see and get all the details of all the plants here uh, in the garden. Location here in the gardens is uh, where there are dino tracks, and uh, you can see the information here. I'll give you a little bit here. This area was home of a large lake during the early Jurassic period, which created a subtropical oasis where dinosaurs roamed. Many dinosaur tracks have been discovered throughout Washington County, and we've actually mountain biked in the area and found a tremendous amount of dino tracks. In, of course, it's fossilized in the stone. Amazing, uh, because just be out in the middle of the desert, and they'll. Uh, have a sign and you'll look at them and it's amazing. There's, there's dino tracks. So you can see a few here. Around every corner here at the garden, there's just amazing beauty. It just goes from flowering desert plants to cactus, uh, amazing trails and rock structures. It's just amazing. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Amazing rock staircase here at the garden. Just another example of how much work and effort they put into this area uh, to preserve the beauty of the desert.
area, steps down, about a flight of stairs, I suppose. And then they come to an area where they have a little fish exhibition and a little, a little waterfall. Kind of a nice little area here, kind of hidden underneath the bridge on top. Looks like right now they have all the fish out of the aquariums. Oh, here's a couple here. If you can see those, you get a little reflection. And they're kind of hiding a little hot. They're probably hidden back there behind the rocks. An example of what's actually in there, and you can see them. Amazing little area that they put together here. Again, all the plants are labeled with all the QR codes so you can see exactly what they are and read about them. We had a great time in St. George, Utah today. Thanks everybody for being with us. If you like more videos like this, be sure you like and subscribe. Look up the Desert Gardens uh, before you come to St. George, or if you've been thinking about coming to St. George because it's an amazing place to be when you're here, be sure you stop by and check it out.